Oh, he makes something else. He loves to write tickets. He'll, he'll write those tickets and he'll grin from ear to ear. Mac was going to mess with you. That's just Mac. That's what we were telling you about this morning, you know. Being an FAA crash flight inspector, he's 100% cop. 100%. Mac is Mac. Nobody else will be Mac, believe me. He's the Macaroo. He works for the FAA full time. So, you know, he's military. My husband is too, so. Probably gonna come in around one and do some paperwork, but I'll be off the rest of the day. Well, I'm trying to ease up our 49 week. I've been here at Austin a little over a year. I'm, uh, I'm not originally from Austin. Train bother you at all? No, no, don't bother me. But I'm, I'm originally from Evening Shade. You've seen the little program Evening Shade and Burt Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, I like small towns. Uh, I have written a little book. No, I didn't know he'd written a book. Yeah, he, he wrote about his childhood growing up in... Oh, Shore. you're kidding. Yeah. It's life and times along the Strawberry River in the Ozark Mountains. It's a, my, my growing up. I was not the only thing that had hard times in their life. Cats in the Hills had a hard life. They seldom made it to number nine. I hated cats. Me and Freddie have never liked cats. I've seen the time when one of us would throw a rock at a cat to get it to run, and the other one would shoot it with his shotgun. We always gave them a sporting chance. One day when me and Freddie was fishing, I looked around and saw a cat. Freddie, catch that cat, I said. With a loud shout and a few choice words, the cat was brought under control. Trial time, shouted Freddie. Now you see, we wanted to be fair, the verdict was guilty. This was a wonderful sight. A cat swinging by his neck from a tree limb. Justice had been served. From the memoirs of Stackland. Off in the structure fire one time and think you ain't gonna soil your britches, man. Very you first come time. close to it, I guarantee you, especially when she's blowing and going, taking the flash over. Very first but, one, buddy. I was yeah, scared. It crosses uh, your mind. The coffee. Big, big crates of coffee, man. Uh, one gallon coffee cans and stuff. Yeah. Had caught on fire and busted open, bursted, and all kinds of things. You know, all this coffee was, you know, of course, spilling out into the uh, hot water from the fire, the runoff, and it smelled like coffee, you know. Somebody brewing coffee, boy. <laughs> he said, that's the tired fight that salon. I almost want to just get a cup and just scoop some of it up and drink it. I haven't known a firefighter yet that don't smoke. Yeah, most of them do. Well, they're smoke eaters. That's your nickname, yeah. smoke eaters. <laughs> Man, after a while, you got to have it. Yep. start to get almost unbearable as far as heat and all of a sudden it feels like somebody gets a hold of your helmet <clears throat> and yanking you, your head around kind of like football coach you know get you by the face mask and yank your head around yeah. because you missed your assignment you know and what's happening is it's getting so hot that your plastic visor your face shield actually is reaching a contortion temperature yeah and it's tweaking and waving and Yanking your head around, boy, and you talk about make your neck stiff. Oh, yeah. What's that you always say, dear? You gotta love what you fight. You gotta love what you fight. Yeah. Uh.